today I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. Now, for a look like this, I pretty much concentrate on just keeping my skin nice and fresh and dewy looking with some rosy cheeks and a little bit of mascara and a few other things here and there, um, but pretty natural throughout. First thing I do is use my oil-free Laura Mercier primer. Now, I've been using this for years and it is absolutely, hands down, my favorite primer out there. Um, I feel like you can say that because I have tried so many primers and this is the only one that I can truly say that I love. Um, it's perfect for all skin types, dry, oily, sensitive. I have dry skin. In the winter, it's really dry. And this is great for me because it has a high water content and it keeps you moisturized, so that's great for anti-aging. Let's get started. So while I'm letting my primer set, I apply my Balm de Rose by Terry Lip Balm. And this is another favorite of mine. This really is so amazing. Like I said, I have dry skin, which means my lips are really, really, really dry. And this is the only thing that helps them um, from cracking and becoming flaky. Um, it has a really pretty sheen too. Next, I'm gonna apply my foundation. Now, for a casual, everyday look, I would typically just use my uh, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. But today I have a meeting, so I'm gonna throw in my Makeup Forever HD foundation, which is my favorite foundation, along with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer foundation. I'm gonna mix the two up. Now, I'm applying this foundation with my MAC 107 Synthetic Brush. It just applies the perfect amount of color to your skin, um, especially for an everyday look. This is the perfect brush to use for that. So just bring it down right underneath your jaw onto your neck and just blend it in a little. And today I'm using two concealers. The first is Bobbi Brown Corrector in light peach. This is perfect for concealing um, really dark circles, purple undertones, green undertones underneath the eye. I'm going to take my MAC 252 brush and dip it into my concealer. And I'm just going to warm it up on my hand just a little bit. So with this you want to work it into the inner corner of your eye um, and the lower lash line just right underneath it and then pat into place. Next I'm using my Laura Mercier Undercover Pot and I'm going to be using the creamy peach side for underneath my eye. I'm just going to apply right on top of where we laid down the Bobbi Brown Corrector. Next is my blush, and I'm going to be using the Stila Convertible Color in Petunia. So to apply this color, I'm going to use my MAC 187 brush, and this is the same brush that I use to apply my foundation. I'm going to dip it in like this, and then just tap off some of the excess color. And you can see that it just goes on so sheer really pretty pink. I absolutely love the look of a natural flush on a girl. I just think it's so beautiful and anytime we can imitate the natural flush um, on the face where it looks true, then I say go for it. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. It's by Kevin Aquan and it's called the Celestial Bronzing Veil. And I love it so much because it goes from matte bronze to a shimmer light bronze into a beautiful shimmery champagne color. So really, this is the perfect palette to take with you on vacation, when you're traveling, when you don't want to haul tons of products and you want to have kind of everything you need right 
in one palette. So we're just going to take our 129 MAC brush and dip it into the matte color of the bronzer. We're just going to apply the bronzer into the natural points where the sun meets our face to give it a sun-kissed look. Let's hit the side of the nose and the tip. Just sweep it up into the corners, into your hairline, right at the top of your forehead. Next I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to take my bronzer that I just used which is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Bronzing Veil and I'm using my MAC 224 brush and I'm going to dip it into the shimmery bronze colors. I'm going to apply this right into my crease in a back and forth motion. You can really be free handed with this. Since it's just a wash of color, it doesn't have to be super precise. It can just sort of go wherever on your lid. Near the lash line, I'm just going to dust um, the champagne color onto my brush and apply it right at the base of my lash line. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and this is something I do every single day before leaving the house. Uh, whether or not I'm wearing makeup, it doesn't matter. I will always curl my eyelashes. I think it just makes such a difference. It really, um, it really opens up my eyes and wakes up my face. And I do this before applying mascara, not after. So for my liner, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in black. Now this is the darkest, deepest black that you're going to find in a waterproof liner paint pot. I have tested so many and this is by far my favorite. And to apply it, I'm going to be using my Hourglass number 11 brush and this has a flat head which is going to be perfect for applying this into the inner rim of our lash line and I'm doing that so um, we get a more defined look with less of a dramatic eyeliner appearance so I don't want to really look like I'm wearing liner for an everyday look but I definitely want to have a little dimension and for my lash line to still look full. I'm applying the liner to the inner rim of my upper lash line and then just fill in the spaces that you've missed. Now I'm going to apply my favorite mascara by L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara and it's in Blackest Black. This mascara is something I will not part ways with. And I'll try different mascaras here and there, but really I just always can depend on this guy. It just gives me the thickest lashes without clumping, um, almost the look of having fake eyelashes on, but they're mine. And even for day, I always apply just a little mascara to um, my bottom lash line. Now I'm just gonna give my eyebrows a quick groom. And I'm going to apply my Kevin Aquan uh, eyebrow pencil and brunette. I always like to keep it super natural with my brows and just fill in the spaces that um, are missing some hair. So my all-time favorite lip for the daytime is a really pretty natural tawny pink shade. So the products I'm using are the YSL Rouge Volup Lipstick in number two. And this lipstick is amazing. It has an SPF in it. 
It is by far the creamiest, silky, smooth lipstick I've ever tried in my entire life. And again, I have really dry lips, so I know a good lipstick when I find one. This is so nice. It's just so nice. It's opaque, but it's creamy and it's light enough for the day, but you can also wear it for night. It's just amazing. And then I'll use my MAC pencil in Soar of my NARS Lip Gloss in Myth. Let's get started. So now I'm going to take my pencil and just apply it all over the lip on top of the lipstick. We're all done here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a beautiful, beautiful day.